Hey guys, welcome to my channel Indian Pythonista and in this video we're gonna talk about shebang. Quite a catchy word, isn't it? Well, it's quite interesting too. So shebang actually stands for a character sequence, a special character sequence which is a hash symbol followed by a bang symbol. Now if you do not know already about the bang symbol then it is just your exclamation mark symbol. So you have hash followed by an exclamation mark and that is actually your shebang character sequence. Shebang is also known by some other names which is hash bang or pound bang or hash spling or I think pound spling something like that. So there are different names for referring to this particular character sequence. But now the interesting thing is that it has a special meaning for Unix like operating systems. So Unix like operating systems are your Mac operating systems or your different Linux distributions like Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora and so on. So Windows users might not be able to get a lot through this particular video because Windows is not a Unix like operating system. So sorry about that. But for the Unix like operating system guys, this video is gonna be fun. So what we are gonna do in this video is that we will try to understand the concept and how to use um, shebang character sequence and then we will also explore a very nice and interesting way of executing python scripts using the shebang character sequence okay so that is what we're going to do in this particular video so without any delay let's get started okay so let me start with a very simple example this is my terminal and on my terminal i am at the location of my desktop so on my desktop what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a new folder called hello.py so in my hello.py file, I'm going to write some Python code, which is hello world. So this is a very simple Python code that I have just written. And now I'm going to execute my Python file. So as you might already be knowing that in order to execute a Python file or a Python script, what you need to do is you have to write Python three if you want to execute it using Python three. So Python three hello.py. So what is this going to do is that it is going to execute my Python file and I'm gonna get the output as hello world. So it is as simple as it can be. But now the thing is that you can change some behavior in which you want to execute your Python file using the shebang interpreter directive. So let me show you by actually changing something in my Python file. So shebang interpreter directive is actually the interpreter directive or you can say some kind of command which states that what kind of interpreter should be used for executing any given file and let's see how it happens so you just put hash bang symbol or the character sequence which is this and after that you have to give an interpreter directive now an interpreter uh, interpreter directive is actually the absolute path to your interpreter using which you want to execute any given file so since this is a python script i want to execute it using my python interpreter right so i need to give the path to my python interpreter but now the thing is that one might not be actually already knowing the path to their python interpreter so for that the best way to specify a path to your python interpreter is that you can write slash user slash bin slash env so slash user slash bin slash env is actually the path to a very nice executable called env in the unix like operating system in which you have to provide some argument which is let's say in this case python 3 so what env will do is that it will find out the path to the python 3 interpreter by itself you do not need to find the absolute path by yourself you just use the env function or you can say the env program okay so what i'm doing in this particular case is that i am putting this much part as my you can say interpreter directive which is the interpreter which is going to be used for executing this particular file so now the thing is that shebang is actually containing hash symbol as the first symbol and in most of the languages like the bash script or the python scripts hash is actually a comment is actually used for commenting right so here this comment putting thing will not affect the actual execution of your program 
but for the terminal it will act like some kind of hint like how can you execute this given file if the user is not telling you what should you use to execute this given file so let me show you by an example so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write dot slash hello dot py so dot slash hello dot py what is this statement trying to do this command is actually trying to say that I want to execute hello dot py but now the thing is that you are not specifying by using which interpreter but which interpreter that thing will actually be known by your intelligent terminal by checking out the first line of your script so the first line of my script contains a shib shibang interpreter directive which is actually stating the path to my interpreter so everything is happening automatically right so dot slash hello dot py let me run it so i'm getting permission denied so i'm getting permission denied because by default you cannot run any given python script just like this like you just uh, you just say the name of your file and that will get executed for these kind of operations you actually need to provide some permissions so the permission is that you want to allow your file to be executed like a command so for allowing your file to be executed like a command or like an executable file you need to do chmod plus x after which you have to write the name of your file so now your file contains the permission permissions which allow it to be executed like an executable or like a command so for that you just do dot slash hello dot py so you get hello world right so in this way as you can see it has become quite convenient for us that we do not need to tell the interpreter using which we want to execute our file because we have already told that in the first line of our python file so that is the advantage we are getting by using this thing called shebang interpreter directive and you can put a space here so that looks much better so yeah so in this way we are able to use shebang for executing our python files without specifying python 3 again and again but python 3 hello.py will still work because shebang contains a hash symbol at the start which is a comment in python programming language it's working fine and i hope you got to learn something new today I hope you understood the concept of shebang and how to use it for executing python files. So if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.